In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite and not favorite sunscreen sticks that I have been using. I have been using sunscreen sticks right now for the past two to three years, and I have been trying out so many sunscreen sticks. So in this video, I just wanted to give like a 2023 update with sunscreen sticks that I have been loving and some that I was loving but not loving anymore. So first of all, let me just talk a little bit about the filters. All the sunscreen sticks in this video have come chemical filters there is one sunscreen stick that has chemical and mineral filters which is titanium dioxide in this sunscreen stick from sun 37 so let me just first talk a little bit about this one this is the most luxury sunscreen stick from all the sticks that i have right now personally i have been really loving the sunscreen stick the only thing is it is the most expensive and you get 18 grams of product whereas for example with this one the cynic one you get 20 25 grams of product if I say that right yes 25 and this one is 18 fragrance free and whenever I use this stick on my face it just feels very velvety like very sort of like super soft sleek finish same goes for this product from nature republic also which was like one of my favorites but whenever I was using this it felt like my skin was like soft like velvet like this one but like half the price but the thing is this product is the only sunscreen stick that contains fragrance from the sunscreen sticks that I'm going to talk about in this video this one contains fragrance but also phenoxy ethanol and they're both like low in the ingredient list but again yes it's still fragrance plus phenoxy ethanol so therefore I am not using this one anymore on my face but I use it on my neck or on the outer parts of my hands because of those ingredients and once this one is finished I'm not going to buy it anymore same goes for this one from a B. This used to be my favorite sunscreen stick. I absolutely love the way that it feels on let me get this one feels on my face and because of the shape of this sunscreen stick it's so easy to apply sunscreen on your face and it covers like every part of your face up so well I absolutely love this stick again i love the way that it feels on my face but ingredients wise it has no fragrance it does have the phenoxy ethanol as the last ingredient and because of that i am not using it anymore on my face and with the abib sunscreen stick you get 22 grams of products which is again more than the normal 18 grams of product that you get and then i also quickly like wanted to talk about coverage of sunscreen stick on your face so last summer i used this sunscreen stick the way that i always use it this one is from faith and face and then i just apply it like i always apply it then i use like one or two fingers to sort of blend it out and then i'm done then i went to a skin clinic i got my face analyzed when it comes to like uv coverage and it turns out like the woman from the face clinic she was sort of like in shock because of how well my face was covered with the sunscreen spf so therefore i do know that there's like some commotion going on on the internet where i see people saying that you have to apply a sunscreen stick like five times i honestly don't do that as you can see on this photo right here Coverage on my face seems fine. Yes, this is SPF 50. Maybe on the photo, the coverage is SPF 40 or 30. At the end of the day, you know, that one time that I may be like a little bit more in the sun is not going to like make me age two years faster, if you get what I mean. So I do feel that, you know, it should be sort of like healthy. So therefore I still use my sunscreen sticks like one, two, three, one, two, three, like I always do. And then I just use one finger to sort of blend it out to make sure that I get like, for example, these parts and these parts are the parts that I normally tend to not have coverage because I, don't I focus more on my cheeks and on my forehead but yeah so that's something that I quickly wanted to talk about in between this one is the hello sunny sunscreen stick from vanilla co I used to have the yellow version 
and the pink version the yellow version was the first sunscreen stick that i ever used and i remember when i was using it i was so in love with the yellow version that's when after i finished the yellow one i got the pink one and now i have this one in general vanilla co these sunscreen sticks just the way that they sort of feel on my face i absolutely absolutely love it um it just it just leaves like i hope you can see this is a um, curl iron mark but this is like what it looks like it just you know sort of gives my face like a very velvety velvety sheer finish i absolutely adore it and then the next sunscreen stick is going to be from cynic so this one is their enjoy all round airy sunscreen stick like, like the name says it's an airy sunscreen stick so it's a sunscreen stick that's not supposed to feel very light or very heavy on your face hence the name airy and they also have a new version right now which is the waterproof uh, version which is the yellow one um, again like it's a very like creamy consistency just feels really nice on my face be careful and yeah i just really like this sunscreen stick as well it is also right now on yes style where i get all my skincare from like 10 or 11 euros which is really cheap if you ask me and you get 25 grams of product which is quite a lot of product it has no fragrance it is a great brand good ingredients and then this one is the ahc sunscreen stick i see a lot of people raving about this sunscreen stick for usage over makeup um personally if i am going to be completely honest i do feel that this really depends on your skincare routine your makeup routine because for example maybe you're using like a creamy foundation and then you use this sunscreen stick and it just doesn't work but maybe like next time you use a liquid foundation and then you for example use like a sort of powder that sort of you know sort of acts as sort of a barrier or whatever and then you use the sunscreen stick you can have really great results so i do feel that it really depends on first of all your skincare routine if your face is moisturized enough or not and it also depends on your makeup routine so sometimes you know i have been trying out of course sunscreen over makeup personally i am a light makeup user i do feel that maybe you know this product might work very well but this one doesn't it's really trial and error because i do feel that it really depends on your type of makeup that you're using i only reapply sunscreen in the summers i'm generally not a lot in the sun already so i don't mind that much so yeah again ahc great sunscreen stick haven't had any issues with it sometimes it works great over makeup sometimes it just doesn't and then another sunscreen stick that i really have been liking is this one from cure this is the aloe cooling stick and the thing is with this sunscreen stick is the fact that it has aloe as you can see it's almost finished aloe in sunscreen or aloe in any skincare product i absolutely adore because my skin just loves aloe vera so therefore everything with aloe I am very happy with it the only thing that I don't like is the shape of this sunscreen stick but again that's my personal preference because I feel with this shape it is so much easier to just re apply and just apply sunscreen like one two three and I'm done and here's like one two three four five if you get what I mean so this shape is more convenient but this is my favorite shape and this one is not but again you know even though i'm not the biggest fan of the shape it's almost finished because i love the ingredients and i just again love the way that sunscreen sticks feel on my face the thing with sunscreen lotions is mostly lotions tend to get in my eyes and they can irritate my eyes not all lotions but some and with sunscreen sticks i just never have that therefore i always love using sunscreen sticks instead of lotions and then the last stick of today's video is from eliza vecca this is a very clean sunscreen stick a waxy consistency as i call it so it means it's not like creamy but it's sort of more uh like waxy a little bit see-through you can see it very much on camera personally i love waxy consistencies like this one so you know more during the winter and during the colder months but this one a really great sunscreen stick has zero fragrance but also like you you smell it you literally just don't smell anything if you're looking like you know 
getting your first sense ring stick and you want like a clean good product then i would say you know you can try this one because this is very basic but a good coverage or for example the cynic one because it's like 25 grams for a very good price budget wise they also have a waterproof version right now which is new and again if you want like sort of more mid-range sunscreen stick um the great brand vanilla co absolutely love the way that it feels on my face um if you want like have sensitive skin go for alu if you look for a sunscreen stick to apply over makeup i would recommend this one but again like i mentioned it really depends on your makeup and what you're wearing and your whole skincare routine if you don't mind the phenoxy ethanol then this one would be like a great sunscreen stick for absolutely good coverage on your face it just feels heavily on your face and the shape everything is adorable but yeah the only thing is phenoxy ethanol again you know maybe it's formulated in a safe way maybe it's not i don't know but i'm not the biggest fan of that so keep that in mind that was it for today's video i hope you guys like my video i try to keep it as short and simple as possible and i hope this can help you a little bit in your choice of getting a sunscreen stick for the summer or for over makeup or your first sunscreen stick that you would like to try out if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below so thanks guys so much for watching i hope you like this video and i see you in the next video